Hi, I'm Sarah Osga, Product Manager here at CPS. And I'm John Drummond, Application Engineer. We'd like to show you how CPS's separable wire box design can save you time, money, and hassle during an installation in O&M. These are all great benefits and very important to you. But the real reason for the separable wire box is safety. All CPS string inverters are designed with separable wiring boxes and allow the inverters to be installed in two steps. First, the wire box is installed. Then before or after all the wiring is complete, the inverter can be installed. Three-phase string inverters can weigh anywhere from 130 up to 230 pounds. Lighter weight means less people required to lift and less potential for injury. By breaking the weight into two enclosures, this allows for a relatively easy two-man lift. The installation advantages may be obvious, but there are more advantages to the boxes than just reduced weight. The top of the wire box and the bottom of the inverter are mated by a connector. When the inverter is mounted on the top of the wire box, no wiring between the units is needed. Simply seat the inverter and secure it with six screws. A trained electrician is not needed for, for this part of the process. Each enclosure is shipped with a cover over the connector. Simply unscrew the cover and attach it to the storage location provided at the side of the units. This is important, so don't throw them away. This brings us to the second safety element of the separable wire box feature. This is something inverter manufacturers rarely like to discuss, failure. We design our inverters to operate long after their 10-year warranty, but occasionally failures do happen. If the inverter does fail, the failure will likely occur in the inverter section, not the wire box. Because all wiring occurs in the lower wire box section, the inverter is easily removed without touching any conductors. If a single enclosure inverter fails and needs to be removed, the PV string conductors need to be disconnected, the AC conductors and the communication wires also need to be disconnected, as well as any conduit fittings must either be loosened or removed before the inverter can be removed. If you do not have a replacement inverter on site during this time, all these potentially live conductors are left exposed and must be safeguarded. A junction box must then be installed on top of the conduit where the inverter was, wire nuts must be applied to the ends of each of the conductors, and all secured in the large junction box you were just required to install. When this occurs using a CPS inverter with a separable wire box, these steps are unnecessary. The CPS wire box safely contains all the conductors, so no extra components or additional steps are required. Simply screw the connector cover back over the wire box connector. All CPS string inverters include this feature, from the new 100, 125 kilowatt, 1500 volt inverter to the inverters you installed years ago. This is just one way we at CPS are working to help you stay safer and operate more efficiently. For more information on our products, please visit chintpowersystems.com.